What up YouTube? So today is going to be part 3 of the JDM K24 RSX swap and uh, today just got the engine from Redline which is a JDM K24 TSX 200 horsepower engine. Uh, if you guys ever need any engines hit up Redline, hit up James from Redline and uh, he'll hook you up. So today as you can see we're going to be stripping down this A2. If you wonder why we are you can see right through it. So um right now we're gonna be taking off this transmission 17s all the way around with some 14s at the bottom we got to take off this intake manifold we're gonna take off the complete water pump housing alternator ac compressor and then uh the exhaust manifold vtec sensor pressure and uh the crank sensor as well because they are different and then uh, we'll also be stripping this completely down as well. So take off the complete intake manifold, water pump, power steering, alternator, etc. We're gonna be swapping this to the CRV mount, which I showed you guys in my uh, budget build. So I'm just gonna order another one and use that one for now since the budget motor isn't gonna be running for about another week and a half or two. So yeah, gotta strip this down. Gotta take off the uh, alternator torque plate and then all this wiring. So basically just gonna start stripping both of these engines down. I'll probably do this one first since it's gonna be easier. And then we'll come back and start stripping this one. All right, so we're back now and we have the K24 pretty much stripped down. Got the torque plate off, intake manifold, alternator, power steering, water pump housing, etc. And I went ahead and changed out the crank sensor already from the K20. Took off the mount and uh, yeah, it's pretty much prepped. Now all we have to do is do the same thing to this. So we got to strip down the intake manifold, water pump housing, tensioner, alternator, um, AC pump. And then uh, instead of running all this, we're actually gonna just block this off. So we're gonna, I'll show you guys how to block that off with a little uh, card from AutoZone. Uh, we'll be putting, well, I don't think we're putting on the intake manifold, exhaust manifold, we'll just take it off right now and get the transmission ready. Pretty much everything uh, that we need to get this motor ready. So I'm gonna start stripping this down get the transmission everything and then uh i'll show you what we're gonna have to do with this intake manifold because this isn't a full port it has its own water port uh compared to the k24 and like the rbc so you can see how the water port is actually integrated with the manifold so i actually already had bought one for the budget build but like i said i can just order another one since we got a little time and uh, i'll be putting the adapter uh for this manifold onto that so we're going to be using the same intake manifold instead of using the k24 so pretty much it'll all still be small compliant uh since we're still gonna have stock cat stock air box and everything we're pretty much just changing the engine so I'm going to go ahead and uh, start stripping this down, and then we'll come back and see what we got to do next. Alright, so we're back now, and I've pretty much got the K20C1 completely uh, just stripped basically down to everything that I need. So now I can start getting to the K24 and putting on the water pump housing, the alternator, power, or not power steering, the... AC pump, and then we gotta get the intake manifold on there, and put the flywheel, I started putting the flywheel on here already, about to put the clutch on real quick, I used red Loctite on these bolts, and then on the uh, flywheel bolts, which are these right here, I use blue Loctite, uh, so right now, I'm gonna go ahead and start putting the the clutch on and then we'll install the transmission and then we're gonna start uh, prepping all this so we're gonna clean all the old gasket off off the housing as well and seal that all back up we'll put our uh, knock sensor on as well and just start getting everything put together but we'll get to the transmission and then the housing and then we'll come back 
All right, so we're back now. We got our transmission on, our clutch, our mount. This is the CRV mount from 04. We put that on. And then I still got to get the little uh, rubber piece to cover, but pretty much we just got everything connected. AC, alternator, knock sensor. Uh, so right now, uh, wow, well, so we got this part too. I wanted to show you. This is the adapter. So since we're running an RSX manifold, this is the piece. It fit really good, actually. Not too bad, decent. I just gotta tighten this down, but I'm about to take the throttle body off. So right now, we're just gonna start dropping it in. And uh, pretty much be the end of this video. In the next video, I'm actually gonna be filming it, dropping in. So you guys will see that on the part four, I think. So uh, if you haven't, like, share, subscribe, comment. Let me know what you guys think. And uh, I'll see you guys on the next video.